I don't know what's going on, but that's way too much smoke. The fire alarm is gonna go off. I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is such a bad idea, and I'm gonna hate every second of it. Oh! I decided to give it a try and make a three course meal only using a waffle maker. So I have to make a starter, the main course, and also the dessert. All of that using a waffle maker, which means I can't actually make a waffle because that would technically be cheating because it'd be the easiest thing. This should be interesting. Here I've got all the ingredients to make my starter. So basically, I want to actually do a good job with this. I don't want to make something that's going to be like stupid and just fail to be funny. We've been there, but now I actually want to make something that could be like a five-star meal. So we're going to be making some garlic bread. <laughs> But hear me out though, I actually want to do a good job of this. I want to make like a fancy looking garlic bread. So I've got some bread dough. I'm not sure whether this is going to cook in a waffle maker. So I guess we're going to find out together. We love a yeast infection. The first thing I'm going to do here is plug in a waffle maker. And you can't really control the temperature because mine is not even like a fancy one. I think we should start by mixing some butter and also some of the garlic and make like a garlic butter. And then I'm going to use that to brush the bread. Maybe we should do that after actually. I didn't expect this, but it's already getting so hot. This stuff is powerful. So on this side, I'm gonna put our first garlic bread. Hopefully this works. If not, I got enough dough to try it again. And on this side with the butter, I'm gonna add some garlic and then I'm gonna use this in the end to like brush on top of the bread. Wow, that smells really good already. I got a feeling this is gonna look like a five star meal. So I'm gonna switch it back on and then we're gonna close it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Should I press it down a little bit? I'm gonna press it down. That's a lot of smoke. I'm not sure if this is supposed to happen. I feel like something is happening because look at this. Like it wants to open up, but I'm trying to like press it down because I don't know, maybe we should let it breathe a little bit. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is such a bad idea. It's been like 10 minutes of this. So I'm gonna just check and see if this is doing well and hopefully <gasps> wow, I don't know if you guys can see but this garlic here is completely burnt almost crunchy I'm gonna brush it with the butter from this side and hopefully It's not too burnt. Okay At least it doesn't stick. I mean with the amount of butter that we used <laughs> Not a terrible look <laughs> Let's drizzle a little bit of olive oil. I don't know how to do this Okay before we move on to the next one, I feel like we should try this because it's still warm and if this is ever going to be enjoyable, it's going to be now. Oh. Okay, the good news is it's definitely fully cooked. I mean, look at that. The bad ones is that it's also very, very dry, even with all that butter. Wow. We're gonna move on to the main course and this is definitely the most dangerous one because we're actually going to cook chicken in a waffle maker. This is such a bad idea. This is the one that I'm the most nervous about because we're actually gonna be cooking with chicken and I've got this weird feeling that there's no way chicken can actually cook in a waffle maker because it's just not hot enough. But I've got a plan, so hopefully this works. I'm gonna hit this chicken breast until it's very flat and then hopefully that will make it easier to cook because this is way too thick for a waffle maker. And this is why my neighbors hate me. Is it just me or is this not getting flat at all? Wait, maybe let's try it like this. Just a casual afternoon thinking about the hate comments. That seems to be working now, so I'm gonna carry on thinking about all the lovely comments that people leave on my videos. Let's just say that I will definitely consider some anger management classes. For the potatoes, I was thinking, how am I gonna cook this in here? Like, even if I cut into slices, it's 
probably not gonna work because potatoes are like tough. So I had the brilliant idea of shredding the potatoes, almost like as if you're making like hash browns. So I don't know if this is gonna work either, but this seems to be my only option. I can't believe I spent two dollars on this. Is anything even on the inside? This is so dumb. Oh, I get it. I should have removed the top. Oh. This is why I'm never going to amount to anything in life, but actually this seems to be a good amount. I'm also gonna add one egg just to make sure the whole thing sticks together. I guess that kind of makes sense. A little bit of salt on both of them and also a little bit of pepper just to reaffirm my whiteness. I don't want everything to taste the same so this time around we're not using butter, we're using some olive oil. This is such a bad idea. And on this side we're gonna add the potatoes. Why is this so wet? It's been like 20 minutes, so I think the chicken should be cooked. I mean, it's a very small, flat piece. <laughs> it doesn't even look like chicken anymore. Also, what even is this? <laughs> this looks so weird. I'm 99% sure this is cooked, but like, how weird is that? It looks like a waffle, but it's actually chicken. I don't think this one's gonna come out very easy. Oh, I was wrong. <gasps> that looks fancy. That's exactly what I'm gonna do for the plating. Okay, let's plate it. I'm gonna start with some tomato reduction in the bottom. And this will sit. Ouch, it's very, very hot. Let's try to elevate this. Um, I'm gonna do like Wow. Obviously, I don't want to give myself too much credit, but all those BuzzFeed chefs, they're quaking. For this one, I'm gonna be happy with the simple fact that this is actually cooked, so... The only thing, I don't know if it's cooked, it's the potatoes. It might be the ketchup, it might be my cooking. Hopefully, I'm not gonna die with poisoning. Wow. I think I need to stop worrying whether things are cooked or not because everything's so dry. If any of you guys want to give this a try, it's definitely doable. Things get really, really dry. It doesn't matter how much oil you put in it. So for this next one, we're going to be making an apple pie and I'm really going to try to elevate the look of it. And this time, I actually mean it. Probably not. <laughs> For the dessert, we're gonna be making some apple pie and this is very, very ambitious. We're also going to find out if puff pastry works in a waffle maker. I love being the guinea pig for all of us. Maybe a little bit more. I really don't want things to stick, but I mean, this is the last one. Let's go to the top and I'm gonna switch it off because I don't want this to start burning yet. So I'm gonna start by cutting the apple into I don't know, should we do slices? Maybe just small chunks. On this side, I'm gonna cook the apples and then I'm gonna basically add them on top after because otherwise it's going to be a mess. I mean, it's probably gonna be a mess anyways, but. And the pastry goes on this one. Whoa, that almost fits perfectly. So when the pastry finishes cooking, I'm gonna top it with the apples separately. So I just need to add a little bit of cinnamon on the apples. Wow, that's truly a little bit. Shoot. Okay, we need to close this now. I'm gonna switch it off and I'm getting kind of worried even though it's only been 10 minutes because it kind of smells like something is burning, which is not great. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, what is going on? Wait, that makes me really want to eat this. I don't think this will come off though. Let me do my best at plating this. I don't know which side. Hey, this side actually. Mm. Let's use the one that is slightly burnt. <laughs> the 
this is probably the fanciest looking out of all of them. Maybe if I turn it like this way. Yeah, it looks better. So we're gonna top everything with a little bit of syrup. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. I mean, we been new. Let's do some whipped cream on the side. Oh, wait. Should we do in every side? If this isn't art, I don't know what else is. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick test to our dessert. It's so crunchy, just listen to this. Has anyone actually ever cooked puff pastry in a waffle maker? Because it's seriously, like, that's really good. Mmm. Because it actually works. I mean, I feel like the chicken also kind of works, but I overcooked everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like, especially if you want to watch more or maybe turn this into a series where I try to use like specific kitchen appliances to make three meals. I've seen a similar video, I think from Buzzfeed. That's where I got the idea from. So I'm going to link that video in the description below as well. But if you like this, I would definitely love to make some more of these. So definitely give the video Video like and also don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on thank you so much to all of you guys who subscribe to my channel I'm so so close to 1.5 million subscribers and I know it's just a number and I shouldn't care but like keeping it real I do care because I don't know it just makes me feel proud I feel like I've had such a good year and it make me really happy to get there before the last day of the year. But obviously I know it's probably not gonna happen, so no expectations. Leave a comment down below and let me know what kitchen appliances should I use next. Think of like the most random kitchen appliances. And if I take your idea, I will give you like the credit on the video. I will put like your, your YouTube username on screen and give you guys a shout out. So thank you to those of you who take time leaving comments as well. This was different. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make more of these, but you guys let me know what you think. Um, I love you guys and I will see you on my next video, which is probably gonna be tomorrow. Bye bye.